So, we're ready to go. The uh, Mario Brothers Hammer Madness Challenge. The three relevant Game Genie codes are pointed out above. You got Exia Gep, which uh, results in too many hammers from everything. Neltka, which uh, makes everything look like Toad. And you got SXI Opio. Sixiopia? Sixiopo? I don't know. I don't have a nice way to say that one, but it's the infinite lives, which is pretty critical. So, if you've been following my channel, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this again, because didn't I beat it? Well, I accidentally skipped over World 7-4 after it'll hang on 7-3 if you get fireworks, uh, and it did. So I resumed by warping, but I meant to warp to uh, World 7. Oh, I missed the fire. That's okay. Hopefully we don't... No. Nope. Once again, we lose our elevator here. It's a mushroom. Oh, there it is. So this is a hard jump to make. I did it. No warping this time. Mm, got the hammer. Can't really avoid it sometimes. Doesn't really matter, though. The next level you get a free mushroom, kind of. Since I accidentally skipped 7-4 by, oops, by warping to World 8 instead of World 7. Ooh, double death. Uh, I'm doing this again so that I can say I completed it without warping. Ooh, the following hammers. Those are always scary. Okay. Here's what I meant about a free mushroom. You can probably put free in square scare quotes. I said square quotes, which makes me think of like Japanese quotes. I didn't think I was close enough. Gotta get used to those hammers extending well to the left of where they appear on the screen. Right, I forgot about you. Okay. Alright. Starting to get back in the hammer toad groove, I think. Hardest of worlds. Here we go. No, the oh. firepower isn't really that useful. 
so that one was probably unavoidable. Just randomly get hit by vertical hammers. The Exia Gap code makes all enemies try to throw a hammer every frame, but it also makes one out of nine hammers just go uh, wrong like that. So it goes vertical, and at that speed it has a chance to hit you. It's not a huge chance, but it's well above being a zero chance. Sometimes you get those weird marching hammers like just happened. Also important to note, hitting an enemy with a fireball or invincibility doesn't really stop them from throwing hammers. As they're falling off the screen, they will still continue to throw hammers. Oh, there's no real reason to go for the coins. I should just keep running here. So basically, I think the... Oh, I'm having trouble with that question mark block there. Um... The ideal strategy is to go under a toad if you have the opportunity. Uh, just because they, the vertical hammers have a chance to get you if you ever go over. There's not really any dealing with that other than trying to go over them quickly. So you're in the firing range for less time. But... Okay, so this level is nicer if you can get to the end of it with a mushroom, but I'm already starting without one, so no such luck. Um, so if you can go under the toad, you have a better chance of avoiding the verticals. But if the toad's on the ground, you can't, can't actually go under. So because every enemy... Oh, here's here's why you want to be big for this level. You have about a 50-50 chance of getting hit by one of those hammers coming out of the pipe there. Which is not fun. We'll have the same problem again, I think, in 7-2. This level's kind of a free level, because I think all the fish have turned to hammer throwing toads and they're off screen. They don't bother us. Castle levels, with the exception of 8-4, aren't too bad. Because, for the most part, enemies aren't affected, and Bowser, despite having this detached head, is not really affected by the hammer thing. Except when, in that case, in the death, <laughs> throwing its hammers. But, um... For the most part, they're pretty normal. That's the thing, you kill one, but it just means the next one gets the hammers. So only one of the, at a time really throws hammers? Ah, knew it would happen sooner or later. Um, that's just sort of a... Oh, this is a bad situation. Um... Let's 
So all enemies are trying to throw hammers on every frame, basically. Um, so because they're all trying, one of the enemies has priority. It always gets the opportunity first. There we go, that's, that's all I needed, just throw away the mushroom there. not fly. Well, that's also kind of random. Sometimes they fly, sometimes they don't. Okay. <laughs> Hammers are quite annoying because of their excessive range to the left. So... got to be pretty quick with because that toad comes rushing toward you. So yeah, like when they're walking down stairs or walking off the edge of a, a platform, they have a random chance of falling. And I haven't quite figured out if you can affect it. I think if they're not throwing hammers they have less chance, but I don't think it's no chance either. Stop that. Two in a row. Given the high hammer. I like by the time the hammer has hit you, it's already moved like half the screen up. I just missed the button there. You could blame the slowdown, I suppose, but. Really just my fault. Wow, three in a row with that one. It's interesting that its buddy didn't appear one of those times. Finally. Alright. Well, that's good to have. for the end. Alright. Well, keep on going. Was expecting him to fly. Twice in a row, didn't fly. Okay. What if we assume he won't fly and try and do a big leap over him? No. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's much easier to deal with. Ooh. Too eager there. Flying toad. So far, so good. Ooh. 
I think I was lucky to survive that and lucky to survive trying to get the mushroom. is doing in the air. Is that a bullet bill? Alright. On to 3-4. This one shouldn't be a problem. Bowser practice in here. Gotta be ready for the last level. So you don't get a lot of shots at Bowser, and when you do, you don't want to miss it. It's good to get some practicing. Just run up, wait for the leap, run under. It's the best way, I think. This level's supposed to be dominated by Lakitu and the Spinies. You actually don't get a lot of enemies here, which is nice. If you don't start with firepower here, it's not very easy to get through that, but hopefully I can do this on the first try. This one I can't kill because it's a, a bullet bill. No, not a bullet bill. Buzzy beetle? Busy beetle. Buzzy? I never remember if it's buzzy or busy. I did it though. Ooh. Okay, I managed to get out of that one without taking a hit either. This is not where I need the good luck though. I need the good luck in 8 4 because that has the most pipe exits. There's only one more pipe exit before then, I think, and that's in 7-2. Ah. sooner or later. What's left? I think this is almost the end of the level. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Four, four. Never remember the route, so... I'm gonna guess top. Actually, maybe I usually remember the route, <laughs> to tell you the truth. 
I think I did it. First time here. Okay. Ooh. That was a close one. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Would you like a thousand hammers? Okay. Five one. Start of this level tends to be pretty bad because of this that leap there. That one's hard to deal with. I think if you I think there might be a good strategy of just trying to spawn in the first two. And get this high one to come. Oh, well. Okay, so I spawned in the the piranha plant high toad first. And waited for it to come. Oh no, I need speed. I need speed to cl clear that one. I hesitated. But that's cool. That gives me a way to handle this one. So we wait for the high toad. Don't know when it starts moving. There we go. Slow power up noise. Start to hear the individual notes. Alright, that's the one up. Don't need those. Oh. Okay, that one's scary. Five two, here we go. Whiff the jump there. I don't know if that was a slow down situation, it might have been. But really I want to get in between here. There's probably a mushroom. I don't actually remember though. Oh, this is the first hammer brother. As we'll see, it's actually Hammer Sister. There's the princess. Ooh, that was a, a deft maneuver. Yeah, usually I'm used to losing the mushroom there. Wait, she's still gonna throw? There we go. World 5 is kind of like the nebulous area. Of Super Mario Brothers. Where I have much less of a mental map of everything in the game. Wow, thank you. That, uh. Okay, well, that went better than planned. Toad's coming. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's where slowdown really hurts. So you, could, you do a jump, and you're trying to hang back, but not too much. Oh, I got a checkpoint. Didn't expect that. Uh, you try and hang back, but. You're not pressing enough because your kind of air control is only counting for half as much as it should. Alright. That'll do. Very nice. More toad. This looks like approaching the end. Yeah. Very good. Five two down. Oh, 
Oh, right. This is where we get toads fired from cannons. Oh, the marching hammers. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. This spot. Oh no. Okay. No. <laughs> this tends to be a pretty tricky one, as I recall. Especially this spot here, uh, because the the, the bullet toad comes in at random heights, and sometimes it's easy to get by, and sometimes not so much. Castle starts with a really fun mushroom to grab. I can get it the first try. I always like the the giant fire bar. Also, the kind of the puzzle of getting that and also avoiding the fire bar. Felt clever the first time I figured out how to do that. knowing how to do it. I don't always get it right. Okay, so here we start having blocks in our way. Ugh. Oh well, doesn't matter. Five worlds down. Three to go. Lack of two level? I think it's one of those nice lack of two levels. So I won't be bothered too much by enemies here. Ooh. I forget if there's a mushroom in here, but I'm scared of this toad. just moved on. I could have gotten fire there, I guess. I was tempted by that. That seems like a short level. So this next level, I think, has a lot of pipes. No! Oh. Slowdown's really throwing me there. <sighs> Sometimes I call the vertical hammers Chapa style in honor of Vert. So this is a problem. Ah. Vertical again. I think if 
you're off the top of the screen, you're actually safe from vertical hammers, but hammers can actually uh, hit you. Um, hammers that are off, just off the bottom of the screen can hit you while you're off the top of the screen, which is kind of a negative effect, but I think the vertical ones get knocked out. Either James Ed Smith, how's it going? I hope it doesn't say Legacy of the Wizard. I think I... Did I not tag the category correctly? Hang on. No, it does say Super Mario Bros. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Oh. You're used to seeing me play Legacy of the Wizard? Well, I'm kind of done playing Legacy of the Wizard. I'm thinking probably sometime next week I might uh, try writing an editor for Legacy of the Wizard. What did whose real name end up being? Um, well, they're referred to as the Drosley family, but also as the Wartzen family. I found out that there's some, um, I don't remember what it said in the manual, but I found out that the descendant goes through the mother of the family, so, um, the Wartzen name would have come through Zaman's side, and he's not a direct descendant of the wizard, as it turns out. So, I think both are true. It's still the Drosley family, <laughs> but it's also the Wartzen family. Have I managed to complete a run of this yet? I completed a warping run. It was only accidentally a warping run. I did all the work except level 7-4, which I've beaten many times. It is not a hard level in the course of this challenge, but I accidentally skipped it. So my run doesn't count. So I'm doing it again. Give me the window. Oh, I made it. To be immediately dropped on by a toad. Isn't that the way of things? Okay. Oh. This level's pretty tricky because of all the piranha plants. Because it's, it's the pipe world level. There's just pipes everywhere, and every pipe has a piranha plant in it. So yeah, it's both the warts and... Uh, well... I guess I'm mixing pronunciations. Should it be Vortzen? Wurzen? I don't know. Maybe I'll keep saying Wartzen family, but it's Drosley family as well. level had a checkpoint. I'm surprised I haven't hit it yet. In fact, I think every level has a checkpoint um, until you get to world 8. Uh, oh no. Well, I made it out. I think the goal should be to maintain the high ground as long as possible. Checkpoint yet? Hope so. Yes. There we go. 
think there might be a mushroom down here. Don't want to check the one on the left there. All right. So nothing in here. There's nothing in here. I always check this. <laughs> nothing in there. Okay. I think I missed one of those. But... Ah, oh, I also made it. Okay. So yeah, I, I completed it once, kinda. But not 100% legit. So it's considered a complete warping run. Height for Bullet Toad. I don't think I needed to jump on that. But hindsight is 50 50 or 20 20. Regular, average, headless Bowser. Or detached head Bowser? I don't know. Alright, World 7. So I just gotta remember... ...not to get fireworks at the end of 7-3. for a mushroom. I guess it's not in there. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought I hit that one. I guess I didn't check it. sisters here. Ooh, that's a... Uh... Might have been a bad idea. Might have been a good idea. Let's see. I mm. think I missed a bonus. I think it was... Oh well. Got through them, that's all that really matters. Not like I'm gonna keep a mushroom for very long in this game anyway. Thank you. 
Oh no, that was a very bad idea. Okay. There we go. It's an odd location for a toad to come out of, but another one down. So I have one other Game Genie Super Mario Bros. challenge up my sleeve, which is kind of like this, but we get rid of the vertical hammers. Still too many hammers, but no vertical ones. Um, it's easy to fix the code to get rid of that. However... Oh, and the other thing is it removes the hardest uh, pipe dismount in 8.4, but it also removes the infinite lives code. So you have to do world 8 in one set of lives, which might make it harder than this challenge. I'm not sure. I haven't... I attempted it once, and I didn't make it through world 8. <laughs> but it removes some of the randomness. But it might be a better idea to patch out all of the piranha plants. That would remove a lot of the enemies from the game. So this level can be a pain. It's harder to avoid the, the vertical hammers while underwater, I find. situation where the slowdown is actually helping me Help to control my descent. Oh, no, not you. Shop is styled again. Oh, checkpoint. did. All right. Okay. So, I gotta remember. No one, three, or six on the timer at the end of the level. Or I will get a crash and I will be sad. I forgot that there were toads in this level. At least they're benign ones. Yes, uh, this level and also like 1 3. Is 1 3 a flying fish? I can't remember. But yeah, the flying fish. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. So. Is it a high, mid, low? No. There's low, mid, high. And 
and then I think it's high, uh, high mid high. Yeah. There we go. All right, I made it through World Seven successfully. It's been a while since I've done that. Usually crash at seven three. All right, I need to. Uh... No. Okay. It's okay. This level gets pretty tough. It's probably better to go under her, but I made it. Oh! No! Yeah, so the flying fish levels I think are easier. The Lakitu levels are relatively easy because um, Lakitu doesn't throw spinies at you. Um, the castle levels tend to be not too bad at all. Slowdown really throws off my ability to do precise air control because I just don't know how much of my input is counting, how much of it is kind of skipped from the lag frame. All right, made it to the star, that's good. Speaking of which, coming up, there's this jump on three pipes which. That took a little while to learn to get the hang of it with the... Oh no, this was... Oof. Okay, we did it. Yes! Ah, the bounce! So close to the end. Okay, almost got it. Got the nice despawn there. I like it when I get that one. I'd say it's one of the toughest ones, aside from 8-4. This one and 8-2, basically. 8-3 is not that bad at all. Relatively speaking. Might actually be easier than normal 8-3, actually. Because the Hammer Brothers behave differently. They don't jump. <laughs> uh. 
it's real. Just like a time to re relax. Oh, she fell. No! It was perfect. She fell. Had a clear path. Just had to clear that one place at the end. That place where I kept, uh, well, the first time I had to, I bounced. The wrong time. You don't want to bounce there. Despawn Princess, Piranha Plant. Princess Piranha Plant reminds me of like, like when that Bowsette thing was happening and they started applying the Princess Crown to a bunch of random enemies. And there was a Piranha Plant one, which I quite liked. speed there. Gotta just run and jump for the first one, but... Okay. It's funny though, like, 8-4 is only difficult because of the pipes. It's actually much easier level overall than this one, except for coming out of the pipes, which is just a random chance of death. Okay. That one gets a hammer briefly. You can jump over this one off the pipe. There we go. I'm into the second half of the level again. Grab that star. It's such a long level too, eh? Woo! There we go. That felt touchy. Oh, she decided to fly. Flying one's harder to deal with. Are you prepared to just run? Okay. Despawn. again. There we go. 
I don't think that's a good strategy for that, but I don't know. Got me through. Felt tense, but it got me through. Here we go again. Alright, so we got the three pipes of doom. There we go. So we get up here. Try to leave ourselves room to accelerate if she floats. No. one. There we go. Not too big of a problem, really, in the scheme of this level. You get the extra princess there, but it's a little easier without. Oof. I think I've got a good, fairly good strategy for... Oh, I missed the jump. Try to jump from in the gap, and that doesn't work. Slow down hard makes it hard to judge when you're on land. It's a tricky proposition. I deserved it, but it worked. It worked. I always wonder if there's something in this group of blocks, but I'm not sure there is. Alright. So again, we get the star. I guess if I ran at full blast, I could... I could leap that in two hits. Finally, yeah. Okay, so we got one more here. No! Gotta land in between and go under. I should probably just wait. I should just wait. I'm doing it foolishly. Take it slow. I don't know why I keep doing it at full speed. earlier there, but it didn't. Hmm. Curious about that. Okay. Well, there we go. Star time. There. So I bet I could jump from that first pipe to the third pipe if I was really on the ball, but and that would probably remove the guesswork of how to land on the second one. 
Because the slowdown means you have, like, erratic amounts of air control. But if I was just constantly holding to the right and run, it might not be a problem at all. Okay, so the princess that was supposed to get the hammer there seemed like she didn't appear, and that surprised me. And the question is, can I remember any of the things I'm saying by the time I get back to whatever I'm talking about again? The answer is usually no. Her. I'm expecting her to have the hammer, but she doesn't pick it up. That was a different princess than, than the one I was thinking of. So I think I despawned some of them by accident. Sometimes. I don't know what causes it, and I don't expect it. <laughs> so I don't know who's going to have hammers when. Oh! Becomes very dodgy proposition. I should take this slower. I really should. That's my main problem. If I take it slower, I can wait it out on the pipe and just jump over. surprised by that. Maybe I should have gone full blast. Hmm. Let's see. That's one I should have gone under. If you can go under, it's usually a better idea. full blast. It feels very tense. But it might be more reliable. So maybe I should start doing it. Come on! That could have been resolved with a little bit of patience. I didn't need to cut it that close. That one I couldn't have fixed. both buttons a bunch. But I do. So when you hear that, it's just me tapping A, B, A, B, A, B. Kind of, I guess it loosens up my thumb, or I don't know. Feels good on my thumb. Ah, okay. That seems like a consistent way to get through that. Maybe I'll start doing that normally. So let's wait for her to move a little further. It's a little bit of time. There we go. Yeah, that feels more consistent. do is wait. I got excited, though. Ah. Thank you. 
Oh, I needed I needed full speed to land on him. I missed it. That one wasn't my fault. Though, I wonder how much of this you can kind of manipulate away with these spawns. Because if I can make sure... Like, these princesses you can beat 100% of the time because you're going under them. Okay, so this time... Smith moved to that princess that wasn't getting the last few times I tried that, so maybe that strategy isn't as viable as it seemed. But every princess on the ground that you have to jump over is a Practice this new pipe strategy. I think that's more reliable than trying to wait for her to float across, because if, well, wait for her to fall, because if she floats, she does seem to do like half the time. It's really hard to avoid. I've done it a couple times, or at least once, but it seems like the running at her is more effective. I don't know if I can still hold the star by then, but... Get a string of vertical hammers. It's just a little bit demoralizing. silly. So oh, I don't know. Slowdown puts a wrench into every air-controlled landing, so maybe it's not that silly, but still felt 100% avoidable. That's a good strategy for that part. It's just you need to keep 
one of them on screen to prevent Agent Smith of the next one. I just hold right. Didn't try it. Got scared on the way down. Okay, here we go. Jump. Jump about here. There we go. Yeah, I think I can do that every time. Okay. Oh! I made it. That's all I had to do. Just, just take a breath when I get there. Wait it out. Slipping in between isn't that hard at all. Okay. So, 15 minutes past an hour or so. in a row. A, B, A, B, A, B. Right. Four verticals in a row. Having some bad luck here. It seems good to wait for the first volley on that one rather than try and run under her. Otherwise, she sticks in a, an inconvenient location. Five verticals in a row. Oh, light. Usually there's a nice gap after the first volley anyway, so you just get a nice... Uh... Okay. Oh. Finally let me out. <laughs> Right, left, right. That's not too bad at all. It's funny, right here I always press jump on the, the single block there. Which seems like it should be tricky to aim for, but it looks like it's not. It feels like I can do that every time. However... These hammers are a problem. Yeah, if you run straight at her, there's nowhere to jump. That seems a swifter way to do it. You run, pause underneath, then continue. I like that. That feels faster. That I don't like. Don't know what to do about it. It'll fly from my mouth there, but I'd apologize, but it only hits stuff around here, so Oh, that's no good. Oh why did I think I could do that? T 
two deaths just as punishment for my hubris. I could have kept that by ducking right there. And I saw it coming. I really did see it coming, but I, I just didn't react in time. This is happening way too frequently. I don't know if that's part of my setup here, but... Feels like it happens no matter what I do there. Okay. Oh no! That mushroom was mine! enough. Oh no. Ah. No. another really tricky level. No! how to do it. Fast and smooth. Aww. You kind of need to be big to make this jump, because you got this piranha plant princess coming at you. You can... You can wait it out, but... It's tricky. Big, you're a bigger target anyway. This one will come. Really lucky it leaves 
gives me a gap like that. Uh, oh well. the end of the level? Come on, just give me a... Give me a nice gap here. Yeah, okay. So this level's a lot shorter than 8-1. Which makes it a lot easier, I think, but... Okay, 8-3. Usually not terrible. Vertical hammer, still unavoidable, but... The ones that were originally Hammer Brothers now do not jump, which is a huge boon. <laughs> Felt like I was far enough away from it, but I always forget the hammers stick out further to the left than their actual visual appearance. Um, so I forget, is it up here? There it is. There's my mushroom. Shop styled again. Why does that one have the hammer? Mm, I don't think I can get the mushroom now. Too far. Take it easy. It's all right. So if I hit that one... Ooh, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Oh, oh, I had my chance. And I blew it. Okay. Do you want to throw hammers? No? Okay. Just your regular... pretty much the end of the level. Wait, we, would, we determined it's right here, right? There we go. Okay. Now I'm in a good place. Actually, easy. <sighs> okay. So it's taken about 90 minutes to get to this level, which is the real problem. Too early. I don't know why I thought I should leave that early. So we run, and we jump. And now we wait. And 
there we hope. Yep, I'm back to 8-4. But this time I have a clean run. Not skipping 7-4. So, we'll see. It's 2.47 a.m. Actually, I would want to be going to sleep pretty soon, but... I'm only halfway through my beer. So, I don't know at what point I'd call it in, but... Ah! I gotta get used to bypassing this one. don't really remember my strategy or my timing for it. I want to do it with minimal effort. Maximal speed, minimal effort. That's the goal. Which means I just sit here and wait. But that also means... That's the thing. I, I didn't wait. Which means I now have to go for a gap. There we go. Makes that much more error prone. Oh well. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Because you get telefragged. at the minimal effort here, but if you wait here, she won't get a hammer. Aw. Didn't spawn. So that was poor timing, but we made it. Okay, let's see. We've been allowed to proceed. Gotta either do a full jump to the next pipe, or go under. I think the full jump is better. Wasn't ready. I'd forgotten about it. So she should be spawned. There we go. That's basically perfect. That's what I want to happen. That's not what I want to happen, but that's gonna happen half the time, so I'm used to it. <sighs> so stop here. That's getting pretty good. Ah! I jumped too late. Over. No vertical. Wait. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, feeling good about that part. There we go. So, my strategy here. Hit that one. Oops. So I just want to scroll this one off. Needed. Need her to relent for a moment. Telefrag. So we 
through it here. Yes, that feels good. Okay. Telefragged again. So there's enough to, time to jump there before the hammers can even hit where you are. So that feels good. That feels more efficient than my last, my previous strategy for it, which was very similar, but we're just waiting. But then it was more fiddly to kind of get under. So we wait here. Go when we can. Running jump. Okay. We're free. Alright. So we hit this one, jump over that one. And wait for a hammer gap. There we go. Hope for an opportunity. All right, we got a water shot here. Oh no, I forgot about you. Just wait, I gotta wait. Shouldn't throw hammers, just gotta wait. Oh, I threw away a water shot. much more consistent setup than I had before. I like it. It was still pretty consistent before, but it took a lot of... It took more effort. So we hit this, move forward, bonk that, wait for a gap. That looks good. All right. Not allowed. Denied. Denied. No stairway. Alright. That's the first vertical in a while. Failed to get on the bottom rung there. Didn't matter though. The nice thing is you have, I think, more leeway with the hammers on the right side than their left side. I think their hitbox is actually a bit to the left of where it should be visually. Alright, let's see. Nope. Deny it again. Disappointed that I got excited and threw away my first water shot. That could have been it. Any of them could have been it, but. It's one of those chances you typically. It seems like I typically get one every 10 minutes. <laughs> Once I get into a rhythm here. Wait. Um, 
jump. Jump. And we wait. Just back so we can run onto it. Here's our opportunity. Run and jump. There we go. That feels good. That works pretty much every time now. Okay. There we go. That's what I want to do. Just want those nice long jumps. Scroll you off. And we can see if we're getting out this time. Yes! Okay. Water shot. We wait for you and jump over. Now's our opportunity. Mesh, 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 mesh. Oh, that felt so good. Until those last two hammers. <laughs> oh. So we wait. Scrolled far enough. Okay. There she is. Let me out. There we go. That's the first one. Seems like if I missed that jump, I always have a second chance. The goal is just to get pretty efficient at the first part of the level here, so that I can try it over and over again. I think I'm gradually whittling away at it. Cutting away little pieces that I don't need to wait any longer than I should. really good until that last hammer once again <laughs> okay so that's two water shots So that wait at the start, I'd like to skip, but I don't think I can manage. Ah. And this wait... I don't, know. I don't know if I can accelerate that. That right there was me being impatient about it. First one, she's off the ground. Could take a run and jump at it, but there we go. 
first pipe check. Fine. Check. Also fine. Okay. Got a third water shot of the evening. <sighs> nope. Hammer inside the head. Anyone else keeping track? Because I'm going to lose count. Estimation it was that it's one in ten, but I don't really know. If it's 50%, in theory, like 1 in 4 should let me through. And then there's the vertical hammers and various other errors you can make. check coming out of the water, so it's more like 1 in 80. But, thankfully after that, the only thing you have to contend with is Bowser, really. There's not much in the last segment of the level. That was my fault. It's not 50% odds, like there's no reason for it to be 50%, it's not, it's some odds, I think it's about 50%, but I don't know the actual odds. There's no real way to determine it other than measuring it. I'm not really willing to do... footage. Knowing that it's 50%, or guessing that it's 50% is close enough for me, I guess. I just have to have some idea of the expectation of like how often I'm going to get through, just to give me hope that I have an expectation of finishing it within a certain number of hours. I think my previous determination was that for every four hours on 8-4, you should get a shot at Bowser. Roughly. I think it's actually a little less than that, but not entirely certain. So, it takes about 90 minutes 
to get to 8-4 when you're when you're practiced. I think you could do it when less, but it seems a bit typical for me, and I think uh, Sir HC Man said it was about the same for him. But then you have to grind this until it gives you the opportunity. Typically, a couple hours. So, there we go. So last time I beat this, I ended up muting the sound and listening to some old covers from my high school band, but it was funny, when I put it on YouTube, it got flagged. They identified the covers as the, as the song it was a cover of. Actually, it was just Paranoid Android by Radiohead. Because as soon as I started playing that, I, I beat the... I beat the game slightly after. Uh, so only like half of one song got played. But uh, yeah, when I put it on YouTube, it got, it got flagged. I was, I was surprised, but I was also delighted that um, whatever sound detection algorithms they have in place could identify that we were covering that song. <laughs> it felt good, like we had done a good job with our cover. So, yeah, that's the thing, like, even if I knew the pipes themselves were 50-50, which, they're not 50-50, but there's some... They seem about 50-50 to me. Um, there's also the chance of vertical hammer, which happens some percentage of the time, but that's another thing that needs to be measured. Um, times the number of times you need to jump over Amory Princess. Okay, so here we go, another water shot. But it feels like I get this shot every couple of minutes, like every 10, 15 minutes. So is that, that's the fourth, right? I really like write this down with a pencil so I can track. But that would involve me standing up and grabbing a pencil. Who's got time for that? And really, what I'm hoping is to complete this challenge and then never do it again. So, if I know the odds, I mean, they don't make it happen faster, and I'll never use them, except to take bets on other people completing the challenge. I don't know if you've noticed, but my headphones are like around my neck right now because I'm not really listening to the sound of the game. This music starts to bother me after a while. 
so I don't know if anyone else is listening to it, because I haven't turned off the sound in the preview or anything, but hopefully nobody's tired of it yet, or too tired of it, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's watching. Just be me doing this alone. Oh, I've got a water shot. Okay, here we go. So let's say this is the fifth chance. Denied again. Here, I finally grabbed my favorite. Need to spend a game genie code on disabling the music. <laughs> Oh, no. The pencil lead is broken. Hold on. I have another pencil. So, five water shots. And what time is it? 1.55 into my stream. So, that was 40 minutes, five shots. So less than 10 minutes a shot. So really, if it's 1 in 10, I should get a Bowser shot every two hours at this pace. But you can also have bad luck. No guarantees. This is just expectation. But... I also don't know if it's 1 in 10, it might be 1 in 20, it might be 1 in 30. You just don't know. Alright, so here's another water shot. I don't mess it up. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So this was my sixth for the night. It'd be a real shame to get vertical in here. And now... Oh, it let me through. Okay, this might be it. Hmm. Yes! There we go. Okay, now I've really done it. In under two hours. <laughs> I'm I'm actually number one right now. Okay. I don't have to do this anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot that there was like a thing with points. I don't know what the deal is. Do you want a low score? Is that the the goal? I don't even remember. Ah, oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, I'm happy about this. My beer's not even finished. Now my beer's finished. Well, thanks for any, everybody that's been watching. <laughs> it's probably because your beer is not even finished. If I finished my beer, would it would I go slower? Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. I'm so glad that's finally over. Push button B to select a world. Oh, right. I, I keep pushing B. I always forget that that's like how it works. It'd be funny to play it like this way though because now everything's like buzzy beetles which doesn't count for much because you avoid most of them so they're pretty much the same as goombas no i'm not going to do this again i don't know why I'm, i started the next uh, thing but ah uh, okay i guess i better stop <laughs>